All right, what's up, guys? Uh, so today we're gonna put a remote bottle opener on my 10-pound Nitrous Express bottle. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go through the steps to do that, the tools you need, and all that good stuff. So of course you're gonna need your bottle. Uh, I believe it'll fit a 10 or 15-pound bottle. Um, the package comes in this little box right here, and you'll get, of course, the motor itself. The collar, another bottle valve, um, then switch, some miscellaneous uh, electrical parts and stuff like that. So to do this, uh, you will need um, a little thin blade screwdriver, a pick, uh, a half inch socket, a three sixteenth uh, hex, and I'm using um, a little impact to help things and maybe a pair of channel locks. So, uh, and I got a battery here set up so we can test it to make sure it works. So your first step is you have this little cap here that covers up the nut. So you wanna pry that open real nice and easy. Um, take your half inch. Take the nut out. That'll come out in here. The handle will come off. Um, keep that. You might want to keep it uh, just uh, whenever you go to refill the bottom. Uh, and if you notice, this thing is a square, so it can only go a certain way. So first thing you want to do is, uh, this is the collar. Uh, I took this little set screw out and already put some anti-seize on it because this is aluminum and I don't want to cause any kind of galling or anything like that. So you got this half moon shape or something like that. You got the cutout. That cutout's gonna go right above where your nitrous line goes. So it's just gonna slide on like that. You're gonna take your 3 16ths. Get it set where you want it. Kind of center that uh, The nozzle there and it you want to make sure this is pretty tight but you don't want to go over tight because it is aluminum right so you got that on pretty tight next step will be your new valve it's got these little cogs in here and those cogs sit inside the housing on this so cogs go up you can only go on one way because it's square again uh, and for those who who don't know, um, so if uh, clockwise on this is closing, counterclockwise is opening. Okay, it's the opposite of righty tighty left and right. So, anyways, so now it's closed. Set it on there just like that. You're going to position your half moon over this part onto the collar. You notice there's a hole here in the back and there's a, a screw setting there on the back so for your set screw you're going to slide this over your collar until it works it'll fit in the little collars line up your screw hole in the back tighten this little knurled set screw down i'm using a pair of channel locks just to lock it down a little bit not crazy just a little bit um, and then it comes with this cap just in case you do have a full nitrous bottle, I don't. So it's no big deal, but you can put your cap on um, if you want to test your motor. So of course the next step is um, I'm going to just wire in temporarily the switch with this battery set up I already got. So it comes with all the instructions, so no worries, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm an electrician, but it's not really that difficult to follow. Uh, if you notice you're missing a, a spot up here, so tells you exactly where everything goes. The uh, main thing you want to follow is where these wires go. Because one's going to open the bottle, one's going to close the bottle. So you want to make sure you have those in the correct spot. Uh, you will need to test it, you will need two grounds. So we'll hook the ground up first on one side. And then I'm using the insulated, very important because these things are very close, even though you have this later on that will separate everything, but just for testing purposes, uh, I have it insulated on my 12 volt because I don't want to 
uh, cause any kind of um, uh, short or anything like that and, and mess it up. So uh, then if you touch the 12 volt to your light, you'll see the light light up. So that will have to come up. So anyways, so 12 volt, one ground for the open, one ground for the closed. Okay. And again, pay attention where your wires go. So you have a black and a blue coming off the motor. Now the black is going to go up to the very top by itself. And the blue will go to the very bottom left. Very simple, nothing crazy. Boom. Okay, now if uh, all intents and purposes, if we look it up correctly and juice in the battery, it should work. We're gonna open, close the back. Open, close. Um, very cool product. I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, it's a pain in the ass to, to get out and turn the bottle on, turn the bottle off, and you know, you never know when you might need it. So um, that's it. We will uh, have other videos on some of the other Nitrous Express stuff as I get it in. And um, hope y'all like the video. Thanks.